being able to repeat a command is quite useful because you will often find yourself doing the same thing multiple times. For example, say you just created a line segment and ended the command. Then you decide that you want to create another line segment. Although you could start the command again by going back to the ribbon and clicking the line tool. This requires additional movement in the interface and extra clicks. Every time you go back and click a button in the ribbon, you have to take your eyes off the drawing window and direct your attention back to the ribbon. And depending on the size of your display, this can require a lot of mouse movement. To address this and keep your focus on your design, there are actually several different ways you can repeat the last command you used. If you have ended the command and the program is waiting for you to select a new command, which you can see by the fact that in the command window, the command line actually states type a command, you can simply press the spacebar to repeat whatever command you used last. For example, if the last command you used was the line command, pressing the spacebar repeats the line command. When you do, you can see the prompt to specify the first point. After you have finished drawing lines, you have the option of pressing the spacebar or the enter key or the escape key to end the command. And then again, pressing the spacebar will restart the line command. You can also repeat the last command by pressing the enter key but most users find it easier to press the spacebar because it is easier to locate the spacebar on the keyboard without having to actually look down at the keyboard. Another way that you can repeat the command is to right click in the drawing area to display a shortcut menu. The first item in the shortcut menu is the line command. This shortcut menu will always show the most recently used command on the first line of the menu. So you can repeat the command by choosing it in the shortcut menu. A third way to repeat a command is to move your cursor down into the command window and then click the Recent Commands tool. The program displays a list of recent commands and you can start a command by simply choosing it in this list. Note that you can also right click in the command window when you right click in the command window, the program displays a shortcut menu. At the top of this menu is an item labeled Recent Commands. If you expand this selection, you can see a list of up to six recent commands, with the most recent command, in this case the line command, as the first item in the list. You can then repeat any one of these commands by selecting it from this flyout. This is convenient if you want to use a command from a few commands ago, but clicking the Recent Commands tool in the command line is simpler. And here is one more tip. Not only will pressing the spacebar restart the last command, but also if you press the spacebar another time after starting the command, the program will jump back to the last point you specified. So in this case, pressing the spacebar once restarts the line command, and pressing it again uses the endpoint of the previous line segment as the starting point for the new line segment.